Kan Shalom Makyam. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakakadash. Double honors to the other apostles of the Great Millstone who teach and rule well. And Shalom to the sincere Akyam, it's pronounced truth and sincerity. Shalom. Um, in this video, I want to you know, talk about you know, doing good unto yourselves, being good for yourself, basically just taking care of yourself before you're able to take care of someone else. You know, this is first and foremost a, a lesson to myself uh, because, uh, you know, that, that should be the mindset that we have about making these videos, <clears throat> you know, that are going to be uh, basically for ourselves first and foremost, man, before they were teaching someone else because the scriptures talk about that, that he that teaches another, teaches he not himself. Uh <clears throat> This is um, Romans 2 and 21. Thou therefore which teachest another, teachest thou not thyself? Thou that preachest a man should not steal, dost thou steal? You see, so if we're teaching certain things, you know, we shouldn't be hypocrites, man. We shouldn't just make these lessons just to, you know, teach them and, you know, make, make videos for Yahweh Shem Shai because there's a saying in this world as well, you know, that you have to, you don't, you don't have to, uh, it goes into like, um, don't talk the talk, but, you know, walk the walk. You know, basically practice what you preach. You see, so, um, when we go to uh, Sirach chapter 14, in verse 11, it says, My son, according to thy ability, do good to thyself and give the Lord Yahweh his due offering. You know, so according to the measure that we are able to, we should just take care of ourselves, man, and do good to ourselves. You know, what does that mean? It means to, you know, have the understanding that, you know, we are, you know, in this flesh. You know, we get tired. We get, um, um, how you say that? Damn. The roughly, the roughly paraphrasing of scriptures. Um... We're being worn out. You know, we're being worn out by the things that we experience on a daily basis. You know, because, you know, as it also says in the book of Daniel, you know, they're wearing out the saints, you know, with the jobs that we're doing. Um, also, we have to take into consideration uh, the trials and tribulations that were being put through uh, by the Heavenly Father. You know, but also... Um, the fact that we have woken up to the truth and we understand and experience the state of this world as it is in. You see, which those things, you know, have an impact on, you know, our well-being. If you're constantly being faced with negativity, that has an impact on you mentally and eventually also physically. You see, so in order to um, basically balance that out, you know, we have to, you know, do good to ourselves, man. You know, I was in my, um, I was in the car just now with my mom because she brought me home because of certain uh, changes taking taking place in my life right now. And, um, you know, they have a, uh, basically a camping spot where they go to every weekend and during the holidays, but they, they basically moved locations because the other camping basically just, uh, you just kick them out because they're going to change their policy. Um, so she told me that they're going to have to make certain adjust, adju adjustments uh, to the uh, to the mobile home. So ask her, yeah, does, 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 does dad need help with that? And then I was already thinking about the Sundays because Sundays, you know, is my only day that I basically have during the week that I'm off. <clears throat> because from Monday to Friday, you know, we all have our, you know, mundane jobs. But while we have those mundane jobs, we also have the work for the Heavenly Father that we try to get in from, from Monday, you know, all the way to Sunday. On Saturday, you know, as most camps have, we have our, we have our camp day, our teachings, you know, we get our teachings in and go into the highways and byways. So as it also says in... Um, in um for instance in exodus 
you know, six days shall thou work, but on the seventh shall be the shall be the Sabbath, which shall be a day of rest unto thee. Um, so what, what what my parents used to do a couple of a couple of months ago is they would work seven days a week. You know, they had their things that they did throughout the week, which was work, etc. And then on the weekends they would work on the caravan and things like that. Then my mom said, Yeah, you know, your father also wants a day of rest. And I was like, Yeah, you know, that's also scriptural. You know, I was thinking that, you know, because we need that, we need that rest, man. You can't constantly beat yourself up, you know, and expect, you know, for yourself to go on and go on and go on, man. Because the Most High, He created the Sabbath for us so that we would have a moment of rest, that we could recharge, that we could basically make sure that uh, we have energy so we can continue going on. You know, if you're putting yourself through certain things, which, you know, we are being put through certain things, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shem Yashai, you know, that means that, like I said, we're being um, worn out because of the the fact that we live in the society under the rulership of Esau Eden, which, you know, is is, is wearing us out with, with, with the work, you know, that we have to do for him. You know, we're being put through the trials, tribulations, and afflictions uh, which we have to deal with. And also, you know, we, we, we see the state of this world as it's in, which those things have an impact on us. So if we're doing good to ourselves, we're able to balance that out. Because as it also says in um, <clears throat> the book of Proverbs, chapter 11, which that first and foremost is referring to an actual skill, an actual balance. This is Proverbs chapter 11, verse 1. A false balance is abomination to the Lord Yahweh, but it just the way this is the light. You know, this is first and foremost referring to an actual balance uh, on which back in the days, uh, certain things will be measured and will be sold for a certain price. But, you know, our people would use to, uh, to uh, basically falsify the balance by deceit, which I'm going to grab that scripture as well in the book of Amos, the 8th chapter. I can get it quickly. <clears throat> because our people, man, they were, they were, they were, they were wise to do evil, man. They were wise to do evil. Uh, this is Amos, let me see, chapter 8 and verse 5. You know, this is concerning the, uh, the Sabbath and the new moon. This is Amos 8 and 5 saying, When will the new moon be gone that we may sell corn and the Sabbath that we may set forth wheat, making the ephah small and the shekel great and falsifying the balance by the seed. So our people during the Sabbath, which was a time of rest, they were already, you know, hoping and thinking about the things that would that they would be doing once, you know, the Sabbath was over with. And one of the things that they would be doing was falsifying the balances by the seed, which that's an abomination to the Heavenly Father. You know, because that's basically a uh, forgery, man. That's that 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 that's falsehood, man, lies. You know, but we can also apply this to the life that we're supposed to live, you know, which is a balanced life. And what does it mean to be balanced? It means to do everything that you need to be doing without anything suffering because of certain things that you, you have in your life. For instance, if you um, work out three times a week, but because you work out three times a week, you're also able to make your three lessons, which is a, that's a, a minimum requirement. Um, you're able to study. You're able to, um, with study, I mean, you know, going to the scriptures. You know, you're able, for instance, for instance, also able to, you know, do education for your job. Um, basically, you do. You're able to do everything that you need to be doing. But what happens if you, you know, start to go a fourth time a week? You know, something has to give which means that it's not in balance no more. You know, changes have to be made, you see? And it's the same thing. You can't constantly uh, uh, um, be exposed to all the quote-unquote negativity that we have in our life. You see, there's supposed to be a balance concerning that as, well, that as well. And as it says in the Sirach, um 1411, My son, according to thy ability, do good to thyself and give the Lord his due offering. You know, which that goes into... Uh, <clears throat> The things that we need to be giving unto Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. You know, back in the days, that will be uh, uh, the tithes, but also uh, the sacrifices. You know, for instance, the first fruits. 
for sacrifices, etc., etc. But in this day and age, we don't have to do sacrificial parts no more. But we're giving you know, the most of our time, you know, as a, as a living sacrifice, man. We're giving it. Uh, we're still giving tithes to the elder apostles, you know, and things like that. But um, doing good to yourself is very, very important, man. This is. Uh, First Timothy chapter 5 and verse 8. And it says, But if any provide not for his own, and especially for those of his own house, he hath denied the faith, and, word, and it's worse than an infidel. You see, so you need to provide for, not only for yourself, but also if you have a house, you know, household, the wife, child, you know, you need to be able to take care of them and then make sure that everything is, is, is provided for, man. You know, and that starts off with yourself. Because if you're not able to take care of yourself, how are you able to take care of someone else? You know, and there's also a scripture that uh, uh, goes into that as well in Sirach 14 and 5. He that is evil to himself, to whom will he be good? He should not take pleasure in his goods. And if you go into that word evil, in the online, in the online etymology dictionary, it says bad, vicious, ill, wicked. Um, it says uh, defective, unskillful, cruel. <coughs> what is bad? Anything that causes injury morally or physically. So, you know, that goes into, you know, not giving yourself the things that you need to perform at your best, man. You know, whether that is, you know, taking care of your literal body, which goes into your health. You know, it could be your mental health, but also your physical health, working out. If that is something that benefits you, uh, having the right nutrition, so your diet. You know, making sure that you're able to do everything that you need to be doing, man. But it also, you know, goes into um, doing things that you enjoy doing, man. Uh, taking a little bit of rest on a Sunday, for instance. You know, watch a movie, watch a series that you like. You know, go, go hang out with the brothers, drink a little bit of uh, alcohol, yayan, you know, whiskey. You know, whatever you like to do with the brothers or that you uh, rejoice in, man. That you enjoy spending your time with. If that means going into the outdoors, do that, man. Because we need to recharge and basically find the right balance between the evil things that we're surrounded with in this world and finding a little bit of peace for ourselves, you know, to stay sane in the mind, you know, so if you're not able to uh, be good to your own self, but you're evil towards yourself, not doing the things that you need to be doing, you know, you cannot, you, you can never be good to someone else, you see, because you, you ha it, it has to start with, you, with, with yourself first and foremost, man, this is a, uh, Falaka, this is this is um first Timothy three and um <clears throat> verse five for if, if a man know not how to rule his own house, how shall he take care of the church of the most high? You see, so ruling your own house, you know, starts off with yourself. You know, the word house in Greek goes into bodeg. Which is also, you know, another way of saying body. Or it's the other way around. Let me see what it is. Um, because you you can you can you can look at your body as a house, right? You know, a temple. So it first starts off with you. And the scripture says, if any man knows not how to rule his own house, starting with yourself, taking care of yourself, or doing the things that you need to be doing to be in optimum state, you know. Get the haircut once in a while, you know, uh, making sure that you are, you look, um, I, I don't want to say fresh, but a man that just, you know, takes care of himself. Um, let me see what that word. So... Here it says in the Greek is oikos, but I don't want that word. Um, 
Yeah, oikos, it does, does go into of the human body as the abode. It says of demons that possess it, but... Um, you know, it goes into your body as well, man, your house. Where we have our... Our spirit has, has a refuge in this, in, the, in this body that we've been given from the Heavenly Father, man. So if you're able to take care of yourself, you know, and then take care of the house that you have, make sure that it's tidy, you know, make sure that everything is in order. And you got, for instance, your wife, your child also, you know, um, basically in, in order. Then you're able to take care of the church, man, which the, 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 the church, the most high, you know, are, are the people, you know, those that are in this troop. You see? So that goes hand in hand with, you know, he that is uh, Sirach 14 and 5, he that is evil to himself, to whom will he be good, man? Because if you're evil to yourself, you can never be good towards the Akya, man. You know? Because you yourself also need to take care of yourself as if, as if you, let, let me put it like this, man. You know, because if you have someone that you love, you want to take care of them, right? But you also have to look at yourself as someone that you love and that you would treat yourself as someone that you love. You understand what I mean? And if you do that, you know, you're going to uh, 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 be able to take care of others, man. Because you got your shit in order. You got your things together. Um... So like I said, it goes into taking a haircut, you know, just relax, play some games, watch a movie, go to the movies, the cinema, go out, you know, just just go by yourself out once in a while, just 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 grab some food, you know, grab some drink, take a walk, things to recharge, man, things that you like to be doing. And for every brother that's different, for every brother that's different, you know. There was another scripture I was looking for. <clears throat> this is um Acts chapter 20 and verse 28. Take heed therefore unto yourselves and to all the flock over the which the Holy Spirit hath made you overseers, the feet of the church of the Most High, which he hath purchased with his own blood. And if you go into the word heed, it says observe, to take care, attend, care for, protect, take charge of. So you need to take care of yourself first. And the scripture that we read in, in um, what was it? Remember, it was uh, 1 Timothy, the third chapter, and the fifth verse. Rule your own house, because if you don't, you know, are able to rule and take care of your own house, are you able to take care of the church of the Most High? So, it starts off with yourself, man. Be good to yourself first, man, before you can be good to, because then you can be good to someone else as well. You know? It says, um... It says, careful attention, notice, regard, you see? And, you know, taking heed unto the church, you know, doesn't mean to do that with rigor, you know? Don't mean that. <clears throat> it just means to, you know, observe, watch them, take care of them, attend, care for, protect them, take, take charge of man. You know, certain men in the camps are set as, are being set as a certain position to, to literally take charge. You know, to be in command and to, to lead and guide and direct, you know, those that are um, younger in this truth. You know, that are at a certain age within this truth, man, because they need that guidance and that help. You see, but those men that are being set up, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shem Yahushai, they are in control of taking care of themselves, man. Because through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shem Yahushai, these men are, 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 are matured. And they're able to better take care of themselves. They're able to rule their house because they have more knowledge, wisdom, and understanding being given of Yahweh Bashem Yahshai. You see, they have a certain age within this truth that, they, that they're able to um, apply these scriptures, you know. But they also had to work on themselves, you know, taking care of themselves, loving themselves, you know, in a way that they take care of themselves. You see, making sure that, you know, their hair is done. 
making sure that the beer is done, you know, making sure that, you know, once in a while they, you know, buy new clothing, you know, go out and enjoy themselves here and there, you know, in righteousness. You see, but they are the ones that, you know, lead as an example as well, man. You see? Because you can't you, you, you can be evil towards yourself, man, beating yourself up, you know, being in that constantly in that um, negative mind, man. Seeing all the wars happening around us, understanding, yeah, we're in these times, but you, you know, shouldn't that, let that affect you in, in, in a certain way, man. We should be happy and rejoice. You know, we should use the world, but, but not abusing it, man. As long as it's possible, man, make sure that you're able to recharge and do the things that you enjoy doing in the society, man. You know, whether that's hiking, fishing, you know, whatever works for you. And that's the thing, because the scriptures also talk about that, man. Not everything is is, 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 is beneficial for everyone. Uh, <clears throat> like, yeah. <coughs> this is Sirach chapter 37 verse 27. My son, prove thy soul in thy life and see what is evil for it and give not that unto it. You know, for uh, for a long time, speaking by myself, there were certain type of drinks that I could not drink because of the uh, after after effect that they would have on me, you know, mentally, physically, you know. But after a while, I was able to discover, which I found it recently, that for the cap, uh, for instance, I said before, but which is Dutch. But for instance, the Captain Morgan rum, the spiced one, the original, I can drink that, and the next day I have no, I have no problem, man. Eh? I feel good mentally, physically, you know. So this scripture goes into during the life that we've lived, you know, you come across certain things that you like to do, but other things just give you a fucked up time. You know, for other people that might be caffeine, you know, for other people that might be females, you know, I don't know, man. Certain things are not profitable unto everybody, as it says in um, verse 28, for all things are profitable for all men. Matter of every soul pleasure and everything. And with the female female part, I mean, you know, not in a way that they don't feel attracted to females, but in a way that they be like, these females in this society are not, you know, uh, uh, supposed to be dealt with. Um, I'm not going to say it. It's like, these females just give them a bad time, man. Like, the way that they are mentally, you know, it's just, 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 you know, just messed up. Um, verse 28, for all things are profitable for all men, not that every so pleasure and everything. Some brothers don't even like to drink. You know, there is a brother that we have in the camp, and he don't drink. The only time he drinks is, is during the Pasach, you know, when we have to drink the wine. But other than that, he don't drink the wine, you know, because for him it's not beneficial when he likes to, to, to play his sports, his game. The thing that he likes to do, man, you know, So, yeah. So, to summarize this video, you know, what I spoke about is, is we should be good unto ourselves, man. Taking care of ourselves, you know, blow some steam and do things that we like to be doing. You know, because we cannot constantly be in that negative spiral. You know, because that's going to drag us down more and more. You know, we should be very balanced, have a very balanced life, which I mentioned it often in my videos. I myself, I have a problem with being balanced in my life. When I got something that I like a lot, I want to do that a lot. But that's being out of balance because that might affect something else in my life that I need to be doing or that I'm supposed to be doing to have a balanced life and to have everything in my life in order. You see? Because what I also notice myself, you know, when I, um, when I go to the gym four times a week, it messes me up. You know, I, I notice that with the with with the with the training program that I follow, after a couple of weeks, I decline, I stall. But once I go to the three times, everything goes up again. Why? Because my body is not able to recharge. You know, and and if I train four times a week, that means that when I come home, 
go to the gym, that means that hour to two hours, maybe two and a half hours an evening are, are gone, which at time something that I could spend on something else. You see? So that's a, that's the thing that we need to find to balance ourselves out, man. And be good to ourselves. Because if we're not good to ourselves, we can't be good to someone else. You see? So yeah, you you know this video uh, was edifying, and with that I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone who teach them real well. And Shalom to the sincere Akyam, spread his truth and sincerity. Shalom.